Welcome back to another episode of Curl Up with Jamie. Some of the best advice that I ever got was to practice in a way that simulates a game, to practice with the same intensity that you would have during a game. So throwing shots and not just tossing rocks. So today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite drill, which I do almost every practice. <laughs> This drill is called the home base drill. Now, it focuses mostly on weight control, but it also makes you think a lot about tolerance, which is a huge factor in game scenarios. The other thing that this drill is really good for is practicing pressure, practicing being able to perform and make those draws when there's a lot on the line. So how does it work? You're going to throw four shots down the exact same path with the same turn. The tolerance on each shot is going to alternate between being a little bit light and then being a little bit heavy. Now, tolerance, for those of you who don't know, basically just means plan B. What's the next best acceptable outcome? If you're not gonna make the shot, how are you gonna miss? That's still good. If you make the shot, you get two points. If you're within the tolerance, you get one point. So the first shot is a draw to the forefoot. So anywhere in the top of the house gets you your two points. The tolerance for this shot is a little bit light. Remember, every shot has a pro side miss. So if you're short of the rings, but within a broom's length, then you still get your one point for tolerance. Your second shot is to simulate a freeze tap or some kind of shot in the back of the house. So anywhere between the T-line and the back line gets you your two points. The tolerance this time is the opposite. So if you are a little bit heavy and you're anywhere between the back line and the hack, then you score your one point for tolerance. The third shot is a tight guard and your tolerance on this one is a high guard. You don't wanna be in the rings. So if you are anywhere within a broom's length of the house, then you score your two points. As soon as you touch the rings though, that's too deep and you don't score anything. To get your tolerance on this shot, the guard needs to be at least a broom's length from the hog line. Now, this is a shot, like that's a pretty big scoring area, but I use the broom length as a measurement just because it's really easy to do when you're out there by yourself. Even though it's a big scoring area, I actually find this shot to be the hardest one of the four because you're trying to get so close to the rings, but you say you oversweep it just a little bit and it touches the paint, then you get nothing. <laughs> the fourth and final shot is again a draw to the forefoot, so back to home base. You score your two points the same way as the very first shot. Anywhere top of the rings, it gets you two points, but your tolerance on this shot is the opposite. So instead of being a little bit light for your one point, the tolerance on this fourth shot is to be a little bit heavy. So anywhere in the back of the rings scores you one point. Once you have completed all four shots of one turn, then you repeat the exact same process for the other turn for a total of eight shots and a total score of 16. Keep track of your scores to see how you're improving throughout the season. And also this drill could be a lot of fun to have a little friendly competition with your teammates. So get out there and practice this drill. Comment below if you have any questions, I will answer them. Also, feel free to put your scores down. Maybe you and I can have a little friendly competition. I'll let you in on a little secret. The best way to score well on this drill is to make sure that you at least always hit the tolerance. Avoid any goose eggs, any zeros. Just like in a game.